are they treating people right outside and they are doing that but on the inside how are they treating the people at home because i think we have missed it today people are going out to treat people right and have good reputation and integrity in the society but at home they are not kind at all hi welcome back to my youtube channel i am uwe makwan in today's video i want to speak about how to be kind as a christian there's a constant complaint about christians for being mean and being unhappy and unkind the truth is christians should be the most kind people on earth jesus life was full of kindness he was always compassionate towards people to help and be useful to people all his life he was living to serve and if you want to speak about kindness the tenor of kindness is actually to self people kindness is not weakness if you understand it and have the right motives and intention for being kind it is actually a christian strength and virtue and kindness makes people generous and really happy if you want to live a happier life see yourself saving people being of help to people and you can achieve that and in this video it's about how can you become kind as a christian number one kindness is energized by love you can't talk about kindness without talking about compassion affection and real love for people because even in first john it admonished us that we cannot just love with words you can't tell your brother i love you but we have to love with actions with deeds like if i tell someone i love them that energizes me to be kind to them to show them that love so i can actually put it like kindness is a show of love if i don't have love what could make me kind which means if i am kind without having compassion and affection towards someone and i'm trying to prove a point or i'm trying to act for a reason maybe for an ulterior motive having compassion towards people will make you treat them right will make you have good intent towards them and make you useful to them and that compassion and love will make you not want to hurt people the scripture says but instead be kind and affectionate toward one another has God graciously forgiven you? Then graciously forgive one another in the depths of Christ's love. So now this makes sense because God is not telling you to do what he has not already done. God has been so kind to us and we sing in the song, Lord, you are so good and your loving kindness endures forever. And he tells you, I have forgiven you freely. And as a kind person, it is an act of kindness to forgive. So instead of holding on to anger and malice, you are called to forgive as a kind person number two a kind person is honest and does not pretend there are many people walking around with a chip on their shoulder carrying their shoulders up as if they are kind but somehow it's just a show that they are putting up and such people you can see that when pride is involved it's no more kindness anything that involves pride and showing up and doing it for the people to see doing it for the camera is not kindness i know there are special occasions that it might be caught in camera just to inspire other people but in most cases people use it just for their own pride and such is not kindness and you could see these people who know how to do these nice gestures who know how to do these acts of kindness but deep in their hearts they don't have kindness they are doing it as an investment because they have something that they are gaining from this for their reputation and integrity in the society that is why they are doing some acts of kindness not because they are kind from their hearts so this is not counted as kindness that's pretense to kindness a true kind person is someone that is honest and has good intentions and is just kind because that is who they are and in a relationship if you're not careful you might misjudge someone thinking they are kind when they really are not when they met you they took you out spend money on you they even send money to you when you don't ask for it they open the car door cook for you supports you they treat the waiter good so they know how to even treat other people outside good and then they do good things they speak well about people this chivalry and kind gestures are all good things which should be embraced by a real and true kind person who is not pretending having ulterior motives but then it could also be practiced by other people who know what they are looking for so now they are practicing it they are acting they are actors in this game acting so that they can get your attention and get you and then you have to be careful of this you should be aware that kindness is not based on pretense it should be based on honesty so by the time you see that there are things that are not lining up their life outside and the life inside are not lining up don't let them quote it up with oh i'm just quick tempered true kindness is about the attitude and character of the heart which births the good actions 
by their fruit you shall know them which means it should come from within out it should flow out and which means for you for an example to see and note am i kind or how do i spot a kind person is for you to see their life on the inside and the outside is it matching because now you could say are they treating people right outside and they are doing that but on the inside how are they treating the people at home because i think we have missed it today people are going out to treat people right and have good reputation and integrity in the society but at home they are not kind at all if you ask their parents and their siblings oh man you're gonna be surprised number three kindness is proven under pressure when an orange is squeezed what is in it will come out so if you really say you are kind and you have kindness when you are squeezed when you are under pressure what will come out will determine if you have kindness in the moment where your mood is messed up are you still kind with your words do you still react right or as the pressure squeezed something else out of you now you are now short tempered you are short fused now it's very easy to be kind to people when everything is convenient when you have enough but when you don't have enough are you still kind to people do you still give to people off of what you don't really have much do you go out of your way to try to help people out that's the proof of kindness it's not about having too much it's about having the heart to give even when you don't have much when you are under pressure that's when you realize if you are kind maybe to your partner to your spouse or to your friend when you are under pressure you are angered you are offended how you treat them in that moment will determine if you are really kind and that tells you that this kindness is not something that you can generate from yourself scripture tells you instead fully immerse yourselves in the lord jesus the anointed one and don't waste even a moment's thought on your former identity to awaken its selfish desires in order for you not to act on your flesh on how pressured you are to act out of your anger and out of the offense you have to immerse yourself in jesus is the epitome of kindness let the character and the traits and the attributes of jesus soak you fully we are not normally and naturally kind because who taught a kid to be holding things and when they get to have something or hold something that they love or like whether it's theirs or not they start saying it's my thing it's my thing but now this is who we are we are all selfish in our different ways for us not to be selfish he asks us to become selfless and how to do that is by being kind to people by being generous people by being benevolent people number four to be kind you will need to be patient because the truth is patience precedes kindness even in the scriptures you can see that pattern when the bible talked about the fruit of the spirit it said patience before kindness even in corinthians where it says love is patient that comes before love is kind which means if you really want to see a kind person or if you want to be a kind person or if you want to know how to be kind as a christian you need to be patient first that's what precedes your kindness because if you don't learn how to be patient you actually miss out on being kind to some people because when they actually test your patience and you don't have enough elasticity of patience you lash out on them you will react badly and even in your relationships you will need patience to tolerate the excesses of your spouse of your friend of the person you are dating of anybody that's close to you your family member your sister your mother your father you will need patience because some things you need to tolerate and when it comes to love some things you need to compromise on and it is not easy you need patience to be a kind person in such a situation number five kindness is a fruit of the spirits kindness is not something that we can just pull out of ourselves because naturally since man fell there's nothing good that you can pull out of a bad thing you can't pull out something good from a bad system so you cannot pull out kindness out of a bankrupt man unless you accept the life of jesus and get immersed in him you cannot become a kind person and the scripture says that one of the fruits of the spirit is kindness for you to be truly kind you need the holy spirit you can't do it on your own and you need the holy spirit to work in you so that you can work out the kindness which is every day you wake up and go out you can be asking the holy spirit show me how to be kind show me who to be kind to just give to people be generous to people even when they don't ask you don't need to wait for people to ask you before you give that's a show of kindness if you wait till they ask it's no more generosity it's giving but by the time you give when they did not ask that's generosity and that's what you need to practice and you also pray for wisdom and counsel 
so that you will not do this thing in your flesh. Because when you do it by your flesh, that's where people call it that my kindness is my weakness. Because it becomes your weakness since now your ego has come into it. And you are trying to do it to people please. You are trying to do it to impress. You are trying to do it so that you won't have a bad name. So that they will not be angry at you that you do not give them today. That is not kindness. You need to allow the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you and give you wisdom. And I heard a quote that's so beautiful. That you as a giver or as a kind person, you have to be careful because takers has no limits. So you need to know that when you are giving or when you are generous, you are giving in a place of need. And that's why you need God to direct you because sometimes you may not need to do the search or the research to know who is in need. But if the Holy Spirit leads you, you'll be in the right place at the right time and be kind to the right person who will really show gratitude to God and then appreciate you. Number six, as my last point, is that kindness is not mutually exclusive. You know, a lot of people are just like, if you are kind to me, I'll be kind to you. That's not kindness to God. That's not how to be kind as a Christian. Or I'm just kind to my family. It's my family first though. No, that's not how to be kind like a Christian. You are to be kind to your family, but your kindness should not be, if I'm kind here, I cannot do it there. So if it's possible for me to be kind to my family, you can't reach out there. That's what I mean by mutually exclusive. If you are to be kind the God way, your kindness should be who you are. It should be a, the clothes that you wear. That should be how you represent God in your society. That should be how you represent God in your circle, in your church, in your fellowship, wherever you find yourself. That should be your representation. And it's not much about having too much to give. It's about how you treat people. It's about the little compliment you give to people. It's about the way you talk to people with love. It's about the way you respond with love. The Bible says speaking the truth in love, even when you want to be honest, you don't make your honesty turn to becoming mean and blatantly hurting people and causing harm to them. Because sometimes people call it honesty, but then they are hurting people. That's no more the kind of honesty that is required. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that it has spoken to you and it's of value to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and share the video to other people who might need to see it. Thank you so much and see you in my next YouTube video. Bye. I'm a ton of started. So if you see my little dog, <laughs> that's why I kind of like add a little oil, oil, keeping my lid because I'm trying to be kind to myself. I'm trying to be kind to myself. <laughs>